For those that don't know me, my name is Martin Close. In this webinar, I'm going to demonstrate and explain one of my favorite ways to start a painting. A lot of my paintings are large, some of them 1.5 meters and wider. So I really can't afford to waste any time painting something that uh, is not going to work. Ignoring the um, paint wastage, I just don't want to waste my time spending days working on a painting when I'm just not going to be satisfied with the result. Imagine after three or four days of working on a piece. I just don't like it. That's three or four days of my time wasted. And there's times, you know, very precious. So we really don't want that to happen. So on large paintings, I always do a design sketch. And if I can see a way to improve on the power of the painting, then I will do so. I'll, I'll make those changes. And if necessary, do another design sketch just to show that that's the correct path. Now, what, do you, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine you're actually in the forest. So we're not looking at this photograph which I've taken. You're there where I was, and all around you is woodland and forest. So where do you start? And it's this which is really the key. What you need to do is to, I call it the five steps of starting a painting. Decide what you want to paint or draw. See the top and bottom. You want to mark the top and bottom on your drawing or canvas. Just some marks, just charcoal or paint. And then number four, you want to decide on where you're going to start. Number five, you want to put that mark on your canvas. Now we're all set. Now we're all ready to go. You've decided what you're going to do and you've, you've got this kind of thing going on and you've actually marked off on the canvas where it is that you're going to start. So let's have a look at this drawing and see how it develops. Here I'm just putting in that little, oh, there's that uh, seventh element, you see that curvy fallen down almost tree. That's going in as a feature now. I've got sky to put in, as in just lift off. And I'm going to probably spend a bit of time now, I think, putting in some of those other features. Now you can see I've just put a vertical end of a tree in. Look at this, it's so easy. I've just literally taken the putty rubber, shaped it into an edge, and I've just gone up and down and lifted off this, and it's a, it's a tree. These uh, webinars, they're all recorded and they'll go live onto our online school and they'll be there permanently for everyone to draw reference to. Like I said, these webinars are for you. Um, if there's any subject that you need help with or you'd like a webinar to be made on, just let me know. It's, uh, we'll, we'll do it.